Hey guys, Blake here with another video, and I've got a pretty exciting one today. Uh, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. How to breed Crebenzis. Many have tried, many have failed. Let's jump straight into the video. So as you can see on screen, my Crebenzis recently had fries, so I figured it was a timely uh, period to do a video on how to breed the Pelvicochromus pulcher, also known as the Crebenzis. So actually an African cichlid, people might not realise, uh, they originate from areas in uh, Cameroon and Nigeria. So uh, although they are African cichlids, the areas they come from are actually uh, soft water areas, pH is around 6.2 naturally. So there's no need for any limestone or buffering of any water of any type, unless of course that you have hard water, but um, that's a different story. So a relatively easy fish to breed. Um, I was a little bit tongue in cheek in the intro. A lot of people actually accidentally spawn these fish, um, which is kind of what's happened here. Uh, I think the trick to breeding these guys is to get the diet right and the, um, provide areas for them to spawn in. So a lot of people think they're being a cichlid, we better pump in the blood worms and heavy proteins, but Actually, um, stomach content uh, studies have shown that in the wild, Crebenzis mainly had uh, algae, diatoms, plant matter, and actually blue-green algae in their stomach, which is kind of interesting, but um, crustaceans and protein were fairly low. So, so don't go ahead and pump them full of protein, hoping that that will trigger breeding, because most likely it will just bloat them as they are primarily uh, herbivorous. So plenty of um, spirulina, algae, um, rapashi, spirulina brine shrimp might be the go, um, stuff like that. So even freshly hatched baby brine shrimp will not be too harsh on the stomach of these uh, cute little dwarf cichlids. So in terms of providing areas for them to spawn, these guys are cave spawners and the female defends the entrance of the cave. So what you want to have is a cave that has one way in, one way out, and the entrance is big enough for the male to get in and small enough for the female to be able to successfully defend. In terms of sexual dimorphism, males are going to get quite a bit larger and the females are going to be a lot more colourful and have a nice purple belly. Uh, there are different types of Crebenzis that you can get, so it might be a different colour like Nigerian red Crebenzis for an example, but um, for the most part, females will have a colourful belly and a colourful, more colourful body. Males will be larger. Once you have a cave and the proper diet, just some fresh clean water and they should do the rest themselves. Uh, and as you can see here as well, the females are really quite good at defending. Um, there's, believe it or not, six or eight cribs in this uh, tank here and you wouldn't even know it. All you see is the male who's just trying to sort of convince her that he's safe, he's not going to attack his own babies, but she's not having a bar of it. So she's going to just chase everyone away and also use the fins underneath her body as like two little flags. You might see those people at the, at the airport waving waving the planes in, well, she's going to do a similar thing to the fry, so she's just going to seek those out and direct them where to go and sort of herd, <laughs> herd the cats, as it were. So once the fry do hatch, pump in some baby brine shrimp and smaller foods, and you should be right. Uh, as you can see here, there are even bristlenose in the tank and stuff like that, so there's no real risk of raiding nests or anything like that. They'll pretty much do most of the work themselves, and they're actually one of the easiest fish that I've found to breed, so um, all the best with it. If you are having some dramas, let me know down in the comments below and I'll try and assist however I can. And I really recommend trying out uh, Crebenzas even for beginners because they're sort of uh, got a nice little personality, they're quite colorful, and they're a little bit out of the ordinary in terms of the beginner suite of fish, so um, all the best with it. And if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. And I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Yeah.